Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah. But he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood? Huh. Interesting. Anyway, there are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. You know what? I think I forgot something in this room. Woman in red, somehow so familiar. Oh wait, I forgot. Had to resync the uh, footage because I don't want to lose any bit of anything. Because otherwise, I'm gonna have to restart the whole damn let's play, and I don't want that. Hmm, supposed to be a painting of that church. Hope Ashley's still okay. Imagine if you were this guy over there just taking a bulb and then you... Okay, can we talk about this? Who the hell installs a urinal instead of a toilet in their house? What the hell? Looks like they use toilets. Guess they're at least somewhat civilized. Hmm. So what was y'all's preference growing up? Was it Silent Hill or Resident Evil? I don't want lie, I got a pretty big soft spot for Silent Hill 3. That game is great. Wait. It looks like the people here carry out their lives like ordinary people. They even read books. The books are all dusty, almost like they don't touch them anymore. <gasps> no! I don't want to do that th mm hmm. I know what to do. Well... Oh, hold on. We're just gonna kind of do this. There's a funny thing. I'm sure you all know about Game Genie on, like, NES. Well, we had something similar. Hey, bud. We had something similar on PS2, except it was in disc form. I don't know what the hell it was called. It just had a picture of, like, a bird on it. But it had all sorts of cheats for games out at that time. I think he said it connected to the internet or something. That was bad, that was bad, that was bad. Uh, yeah, let's just get inside the house. We'll be safe. Anyway, oh, my sister, I don't know what the hell she did, but... Anyway. She put on this cheat code that supposedly gave you infinite health. Now, the thing is, it kind of worked and kind of didn't, because when we did it... Calm down. Uh, Leon survived a lot, but as soon as he got to Dr. Salvador and got his head ripped off, that no longer applied, and he, uh, <laughs> the game just kind of was stuck in place, because it didn't know how to register that a insta-kill would actually kill somebody. 
Can I can I take it down? Damn it! Do we waste one bullet? Or do I defy everything I know and leave this behind? <sighs> so many choices. Uh... I'll miss you. Then again. Oops. Alright. So anyway, uh, lo lo long story short... Also, he's not dead. Long story short, um... Stuff doesn't work exactly like you think it would. I'm just gonna... There's no way, but let's pretend I can. <laughs> he didn't like me doing that. Ah, oh, I should have thrown the egg at him. Uh, hang on, bud. Let's do that. Spinal. Spinal. Alright. Hey, lady. You should watch for your step. Ooh, a big box, what's in it? That. Okay. Uh, well, we have the ability to. Thing. A buddy of mine did kind of want to show me, I mean, did want me to play this. Most because he thought I'd play it very differently than he did. For instance, he did not get the shotgun when he played. I will not name names. If he wants to name himself, he, he'll probably say it in the comments. Uh, let's see. I really want this TMP ammo. I needed this fish! Alright. We're getting the TMP. It's gonna happen. I don't think I checked this area. Isn't that house empty? Y'all need to... I'd say y'all need to cool off, but there's no such thing as a cryo grenade, so...
Really? That wasn't everybody? Okay. Oh, it was. Did I go in this house? I didn't go in this house earlier. Uh, he didn't drop anything, how selfish. Go see if he left us anything. Nothing. Alright. Check in this house real quick. Oh yeah, but anyway, this game had a... It had an interesting de development history. Like, one version didn't work out, one got turned into another game, one just never made it to the light of day, or even came into existence, I think. Because, let's see. Uh, is there anything else? Don't think so. Don't think there's anything back there. Nothing in Dr. Salvador's house. Thought I saw a twig. Anyway. And it will not open without a key. Serenity, which is the name of this song. I gotta say, making this room in Minecraft was actually pretty difficult to get all the details down. points of shooting that down? I really don't think there is, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, there is something! There is a spinal in it. It's powered by them. Or is it spinal? I used to say spinal. Then again, I used to mispronounce, like, everything as a kid. I had, like, a severe problem not being able to pronounce anything. Yeah, you can't see those unless you do this. Alright. Yep, alright, let me see if I can... See if I can get a free beat, yep. My problem was I just didn't read, or... I also didn't know how to at times. Like, you know what, I didn't even bother reading the, the, the manual for Planoa 2, and I called the... The creatures in that game have a very simple name. Something that might interest you. Whoa! Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. So, stranger, any luck with the blue medallions? Remember, shoot ten or more to get your specialized gun. What are you buying? Uh, tempting, but not yet. What are you buying? I don't think we. I don't. You know, the first handgun is worth tuning up, because... Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to do anything to that. What are you selling? Hmm. We won't do anything yet. Yeah, the creatures in Klonoa 2 are literally just called Moo. I made up a dumb name for them because I couldn't read. I called them like Jiroji or something. I don't even... I don't know what's wrong with me. I also couldn't read that book Where the Wild Things Go. I just based everything I said off the pictures. Like, I think instead of reading simple things like, Oh, the boy joined the monsters at the fire. Ooh, spooky. I, I I just read something like that's 
What? I'm doing y'all a favor. They're probably pooping on the graves. Go. Hey. The detail in this game that I fully appreciate is that they'll actually say stuff like that to tell you that they're behind you. The thrust the deep I see behind you in this one. In eight they don't do that. In eight everything just sneaks up on your ass like a ninja. One thing I hate, it's still a great game. Who is your favorite character in that? People are gonna say Lady D, but mm. okay. Man, there's some good stuff around here, guys. Oh, there's a bunch of family crypts. Winds must be buried under this grave. This insignia is a little different. Maybe they're they're different for all the graves. Different family lines. Seen this before. But maybe they're different depending on the grave. should investigate this but maybe there's like a ch but we should probably just keep moving along maybe oh. Leon have you reached the church yet uh well yeah sorta Leon did I mention not to take the scenic route at any rate Ashley's probably inside that structure rescue her hurry Here's the thing, I couldn't come up with anything on the spot for why I was doing what I was doing. And even Leon couldn't... either. It... Okay... Thank goodness for quick turnaround. Alright. Well, let's see if we can get in. It won't open. There's a round hole, maybe something fits here. Somebody made a... Oh wait, never mind, I, I just got the innuendo. <laughs> Hunnigan, it's Leon. The door's locked. I can't get in. Didn't they teach you how to pick locks at the academy? Yeah. There's some sort of indentation, like something might fit inside. Well, there's no use standing around. Leon, you have to find some way or something to get inside. I wonder if that's going to be altered. I'm just curious about something. Is that what me doing that does? <laughs> That's what the bell does. That's funny. I just thought it would trigger. I thought it would trigger like a interaction between him and Hunnigan. Because I think if you do that as Ada, she was like, uh, I, need some, I need it to be louder or something like that. Oh, 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 oh freaking ninja! Right. 
No, don't reload. Great. Now I have to eat my fish. I hope you're happy. Alright, so don't ring the bell is what we just learned. Did I get this? Nope. Alright. Let's see. Three family insignias. It looks like the dial only turns clockwise. Wait, that's not right. Three. Four. Um. Three. Wait, no, no, hold on. Three, 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 four, four, and four again, and then three. Oh yeah, knew what it was, and 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 knew. I know that one by heart, kind of. There's a puzzle in this game that people really mess up. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, hey guys. <laughs> oh shit. That looks nice. It's not amazing, but I like it. Alright. Now, if memory serves correctly... Yep. Closure of the church. Regarding the two fugitives, the apprehension of Luis is our top priority. The American agent is a distant second. What Lewis stole from us is far more important than the girl. Unless we get it back, the girl will become useless to us. We must get it back to execute our plan to the end. If it gets on the wrong hands, the world will become a totally different place than what Lord Sadler has en envisioned. At all costs, we mustn't let that happen. Nevertheless, we're not letting go of the girl. To ensure the agent does not get to her, I've locked the church down where the girl is being held. Anyone who needs access to the church must get, must first get approval by Lord Sadler. There is a key beyond the lake, but it should be safe now that the Del Lago, <coughs> the lake, has been awakened by our Lord. No one will get across the lake alive. Plus, our same blood courses through the agent's veins. It'll be a, just a matter of time before he joins us. Once he does, there will be no one else left that will come looking for the girl. You know, I once did a traumatic reading of a book for uh, two friends of mine that were in a PlayStation party. The book was... I don't even know if I want to say the name of it, but um... I just hated it with the passion, so I was like... You know what, let me read this for you guys. I just realized something. Please tell me it's... Oh, thank god. I thought I missed the one that's behind the gate way early on at the farm. Okay. Hey, what's up? Alright, just gonna slice your nuts. You guys want to get some Resident Evil ASMR? Check this out. Well, everybody knows about this, but whatever. Whatcha? Bird genocide. 
And you get refunded, too. We lost the box for the GameCube, like, a long time ago, because... Or maybe the Wii, because we didn't really need it anymore, but... Uh, the thing that's behind here was actually on that. I wonder if he's going to get changed. It looks like the gate's securely shut. Wait, I can hear something growling on the other side. There it is. That gets changed to an herb later, so I'm grabbing it now. Oh no! Wait. point to shooting this, but I can. Yep, no point. Ah, I love this area. Look at this. And the village just lets him do it. Or he probably just took stuff from them. Look at... Those are... Th these are literally like tank shells. Look at that. Grenades that look kind of funny. All that ammunition. A bunch of, uh, Mac 10s or something. I don't, know. I don't even think that gun is even in this game. What, what, what is this? It looks like a. It looks like one of the freaking, uh, assault rifles in Uncharted. There's enough weapons here to start a small war. Yeah, no shit. These are readable. These apparently can say something, but I don't know what they say. Notice something right here. Boxes of ammo that are clearly legible. And grenades. However... Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Well done, stranger. I see you shot enough number... Enough number of medallions. Like I promised, go claim your specialized gun in the blue... In the buy screen. Don't worry about money. This one's on the house. Well, before we do that, um... Methinks I may have to give up my bass. Let's see how much it sells for. What are you selling? I'm sure you're a hungry man. Wait. No way. I just... Okay. That was weird. Why is it upside down? Is that all, stranger? <laughs> yep, that man. Thank you. Well, I guess we could sell the other stuff. I don't really see much of a point, but... So 10,000. And I got 10,000 off Salvador. So you could essentially get 20,000 by killing both versions of him at the start. But... Uh, I didn't I want to mess that up, so... High price. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. That was his salary. <laughs> what is selling? Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. It's in pretty good condition. Looks valuable. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. <laughs> there you are. Thank you. Uh, the rare, the rare stone set in the headdress has has made it one of a kind. Is that like a sapphire? Ah, or a... I'll buy it at a high price. <laughs> Thank you. Man, I think sapphire reminds me. 
I would really love to do a Psycho like, Let's Play at some point. Let's see, do we have enough room for it now? We should, after getting rid of that. What are you buying? So, here's our free gun, the Punisher. We should be different, right? Like, what? Hmm. I know that the starter pistol is the best, but this one goes through, guys. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, here, here's an idea. Let's look at the stats between both. So, let's see. Examine. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then. Well, it's actually a little. It's actually around the same. You know what? I always sell this gun. You know what? Let's base it up this. They're both at base level. What do we sell? What are you selling? Alright, between. That's outrageous. Although I could. I do get a lot out of it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna be different. Everybody sells this gun. We're gonna we're gonna tune it up too. Just a little bit. Is that old At the firing speed? Oh my gosh. I can't change that yet. Is that old strange? Is that old? Thank you. What are you Maybe I'm wasting money, I don't know. But uh I'm content with my choice. I do want you. But do I want you yet? Is that old stranger? Maybe not yet. We'll wait on that. All right. Oh look. Yeah. Now we got a uh, empty pose, Leon. Nothing. Oh, this place is nice. Oh yeah. It's that. Oh wait, uh, let's probably save, because stuff gets a little messy up ahead. You know what? Fun fact about Leon's knife. So, as per every other Resident Evil, the knife was its own little thing in your inventory, and it would actually take up some space, but... Interestingly enough, in this game it doesn't, but in the demo disc, it actually was a uh, selectable item. But I guess they rethought that idea, and it also, if you really think about it, yeah, it's also not in this game anymore, but, um, heads up. If you really think about it, the fact that you wouldn't be able to get rid of it, and it would always take up a spot, that's like a beat the player. So thank goodness they changed it for the better for the rest of the franchise, because... My gosh. Well, they went back to doing that in 7 and 8. Hello. I never thinking, yeah, someone else did this before, but it kind of looked fun when they did it. For instance, look at that. We're keeping that. I want to see how much I get before I even get the weapon. I just realized I didn't even pick the gun up. Alright. Uh, listen to that sound. Every gun is different. Alright. Hey, buddy. I don't... I was about to do it, I, I stopped myself. Where do 
did the demo stop? I think the demo stopped. Let's just get up here. Te voy a hacer picadillo. Oh. I think the demo stops right after you finish the raid in the village. Man, see, like, every, every one of these games, they scrap so much for launch. Like, uh, I, I think this one is the one that was the most altered out of every title. It's like, uh, this one... It wasn't even gonna be like this at all. It was gonna be like a psychological horror or something. Or Leon's just kinda of like amnesia, just going more insane or whatever as he progresses through Sadler's castle or Spencer's castle. The way it was gonna be was I think it was like I'm glad I that thing died. Um I think Spencer had like two sons. You may know them as uh, Dante and Virgil, and they were just going to be in the castle. But, the thing is, wow, look at all these guys. Look at that. They did the thing that I said it would do. Alright. Okay, the problem is, you guys are getting up in my grill again. Alright. Okay. Man, oh wait. Alright, bad, bad spot, bad spot. So the almighty Leon. Anyway, this game did get very much altered. Like, because you can look at the original trailer for it. It has, like, the hook man in it, or the, uh, the little dolls that come to life. And the room gets all blue and creepy. More of you? Uh, that was excellent as much. Okay. Anyway, like, Leon would get freaked out by the area, or I don't know how, he just would. I think ghosts and whatnot, maybe they're not really there. Anyway, all that would pile up, and the thing is, that was the way it was going to be. There weren't going to be, like, zombies or anything. You bitch. as well as it did. Buddy, Yeah, eventually Capcom was like, this isn't really Resident Evil. But the other issue was, in that trailer, they have this, um... I don't know how best to describe this creature, because you can't even see it, but, um... Leon's going up some stairs, and you see this... big gangly-looking many-arm tentacle thing... running up at him... from below, and I guess he was supposed to run away from it. The problem was... that creature... the way it was gonna be designed... it was way too much for old era consoles, like the GameCube or the PS2. It was like... <laughs> and it was like, yeah, that's not happening. I think if you just look up, like, Resident Evil 3.5 or whatever trailer, you'll, you'll find what I'm talking about. 
So yeah, that thing and the way the story was working, it was like, yeah, this isn't Resident Evil. We gotta change stuff. I'm just gonna... Un Forestero! An outsider! And then that build, it actually evolved into something else. A big franchise you may know today. There's a little franchise called Devil May Cry. They were like, yeah, well, what if we do... We keep going with this supernatural stuff. And go a completely different route than Resident Evil, where it's just nothing but guns. And we kind of use the characters we have. And they did, and it made Devil May Cry 1. And there's big testaments to that. Like, if you play that, if you play Devil May Cry 1, and you go to the the uh, the bridge where you see the Sargassos and you fall in their pit, Leon, not Leon, Dante holds his shotgun, if you have that out, he holds it like Leon. Because he'll be stuck in a neutral pose. And that's when you'll be able to best notice it. Now, there's other stuff, like when you're in the sewers of that uh, that castle, you can, uh, you, you fight a bunch of bugs, right? They're easy to kill, you just want to shoot them a lot. What do you do in this game when you get in a castle? The exact same thing. Ridge. Exactly. At least weird ass binoculars Leon has. Vamos. there. Even further proof when you, uh, I think it's when you're outside fighting Virgil, I'm sorry, Nello Angelo for the first time. You can, um, if you look somewhere, or maybe go in a building, you can see the umbrella logo somewhere. I don't know where, you just can. Let me save right here and refresh the uh, video. You know, I just think all that's pretty cool. But there were like two other builds. Oh yeah, wait, they're, the Hookman build... These are nice fish. Maybe. Alright, one... Nope. Let's get the big one. I see a big boy right there. Alright, got two... About... That one. That one. Oh! There's an achievement for doing that. Anyway. Okay. Anyway, it, it's interesting how all of this turned out. But anyway. I guess the Hookman build was a separate one, and then the one we see in the trailers was a separate one. There was some third one 
that never saw the light of day because I guess there was like... No, we just need to start from the ground up all over again. I know little information about that build. Oop. The size of that thing. It took me years to figure out what this thing was. Turns out it's a salamander. Leon, I know it gets harder when your damage is up. Oh. Okay. I was hoping it was well. Now I just Oh, I uh. <laughs> That's weird. Whoa, what's going on? Alright. Dang it. On land, or is it like, damn, Leon. Wait a minute. Oh. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Uh, we should have reeled it in. No one's ever gonna believe us now. That's over with. I'll just, uh, yep. Notice the gate in the background. save that for next time because I'm hungry and tired. But we'll be back.